Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks online tutorial. My name is Enoch Garcia and I'm with Honest Accounting Group. Today we're going to talk about how to handle customer credits or overpayments. Let's go ahead and get started. First we have to receive the payment. Let's go to the plus icon and receive payment. And then we need to find the customer. We're going to use any Spurge Sanctuary. We're going to apply payments to these two. I'm going to say she paid us with uh, a check. Deposited funds is fine. So the total to pay these two is 614. So since we're talking about an overpayment, I'm going to say she paid us 850. So we have 236 as a uh, credit. Hit save and close. So now when we create a new invoice for Amy, And um, let's say you're charging her for design and it's a thousand dollars at 30 and so on. Okay, so once I hit save, it says we applied an existing credit of 236 to this invoice. Hit OK. So now when we look at the invoice itself, the total amount was a thousand. The amount received was 236 because that was the open credit that we had available for her and now the balance due is 764 now for it to do it automatically you have to turn on a setting which I already have turned on hit save again so we go to the gear icon account and settings advanced under automation you can check on the automatically apply credits that way when you create a new invoice um, it'll apply any open credits. If you don't want that, then leave it off. But let's go to the pencil. Let's go ahead and check it. Hit save. And done. And that's how you can manage um, and handle a, a customer credit or overpayment. If you'd like to learn how to record an invoice overpayment as a tip, uh, please look out for a new uh, video coming out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.